Hello and welcome back my friends. Today I am doing boo. I am going to split this. Oh, I just noticed the exclamation mark here. Oh, I wonder. I put a piece of my uh, resin paper up along the side of the webbing here because I want to make this white and this black. Now, should I make this a different color or keep it white or put it black? If so, then I'll need to put some of the resin paper there as well. And I'm not filling the mold up all the way. I think it's too thick. A great idea would be to put twinkle lights in this because it's so thick. It, I think it would look freaking amazing with the twinkle lights in it, but I'm not doing that for this one. <laughs> Maybe I'll have black and black and blue white in the middle. I like it. I think that's a great idea. Maybe I should do the blacky purple color. Okay, let me cut a piece of the resin paper and I will show you how I put it in. I have my piece of resin paper here. Oops, wrong thing. I have my UV flashlight and my UV resin and Let's just put some UV resin along the edge. Here, and then stick it in the mold as best I can with my hands, my big fingers. And for a couple of seconds, and then I'm gonna move this guy over so he's not touching. Now I am just going to put a little bead of UV resin along the bottom. It unsticks really easily. Let's just do this. Put a little UV resin over on the side here. Even maybe put a little here so we can get it. There we go. And let's see if that'll stick. Just enough so that you can stick it to the mold and keep the rest of the resin from flowing into the other part is all that really matters. Yeah, that's good. It's a little wonky. I don't know if you can see it, but the paper sort of went we Give it character. Now you know what I'm going to do. Well, with this boo mold, I think it'll be fun and I will go mix up some resin and when it's ready I will return and start pouring. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the music. I'll put some spooky music on maybe or just regular music. I'll see you in a minute. I have mixed my resin and I'm using Magic Resin today. It's one-to-one -one and I mixed uh, 400 mils of it. I put three ounces in this cup for doing the cobweb and the exclamation mark and I will be using Let's Resin Mica Powder Black and Purple. And for the boo, I am going to use Laura's Art Corner Baby's Breath. I hope this works. <laughs> I'm gonna put a scoop of black like this. Can you see that? Let me get this out of the way because I don't want the mica powder going in there. So there we go. Scoop of black. And I will put hopefully the same amount of purple in as well, that looks roughly, maybe a little bit more. There we go. And I will give it a mix. Then I will mix the baby's breath from Laura's art corner. I won't let you watch me stir this up. I'll pause this and when I come back, we will be ready to pour and I'll have some music on for you, so make sure you have your tea or coffee with you. Sit back, relax, and enjoy.
We are ready to demold. As you can see, it busted a leak. So there is a little bit of black that leaked through. It was way after I had originally poured it, but that's okay. And I know my resin paper is a little bit higher than the resin and I can just cut that off or use an X-Acto knife. So let's take this out and see how it looks. Oh, it looks like I got a little leak here. Hopefully it is not too bad on the other side, but that's okay. Gives it originality, doesn't it? Let's see, how are we gonna get this out? I do like the black and the purple. I can see the little bits of purple. Sorry, I'm out of camera shot, aren't I? My apologies. Now this should be fun. Oh, ah, awesome. Oh, look at it. Oh, that's so cool. And look, it didn't, it wasn't too bad at all. Oh, is that a big hole? I think that's a big bubble right there. And there, interesting. I'll just fill that in with some UV resin. But what do you guys think? Oh, that's cute. That is so cute. I love it. Trim this off. And if it doesn't trim off with my scissors, I will just use my X-Acto knife. That is amazing. Using that resin paper like that. This one here, I could have gone a little bit closer, but still it worked amazing. Oops. It worked amazing. Sorry, guys. Thank you again for joining. I hope you learned something today. I know I did. That was so much fun. And now with the resin paper, there's so many different opportunities to use it. I love it. It's perfect. Thank you, Daniel Cooper. Greatly appreciate all your ingenious ideas. I want you all to go be creative and have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.